Today's video is going to show you how to play defense in Madden NFL 16. And we, we take a look at this from the defensive perspective. We're looking at our five sets for success. We're going to be breaking down a full mini scheme here out of the Tennessee Titans. Uh, we're looking at it from the 46 playbook, uh, but we're going to be focusing in with the Tennessee Titans uh, team this week uh, because we're looking at Mar Marcus Mariota and uh, kind of trying to figure out how we can best utilize him. Uh, in our offense but what we want to show you today is a nice base play you could come out in um, that will really give you a, a good opportunity against your opponent uh, and the play comes from the we're going to be looking this week at the big nickel bear formation uh, and the first play we're going to discuss is a base play and then uh, tomorrow we'll go from there and discuss the next portion of our defense but for me um, the best base play in the in the game here for the for my money uh, it comes from this uh, Crash 3. Um, now, this is a play that I really think uh, would you know is really good. Um, but what I want to focus in on is uh, there's a couple of hot routes we want to do to make it even better. So the Crash Red, or Crash 3, sorry. So we come out, what we're going to want to do is we're going to base a line. We're going to spread our line and we're going to pitch our linebackers. We're going to do this every single time uh, when we run this. Uh, every single time we're going to baseline crash and pinch our linebackers. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our left of screen linebacker and global blitz him straight down. From that point we're going to take Woodyard here. And this guy is often our, um, you know, our middle linebacker. We're going to place him on a flat zone to the left side of the screen. He's going to you know, jump out there. And what I like to do is take this backer here, Morgan, and put him on a deep zone. You don't have to do this. I like to. And then what I'll do is I'm gonna, that gives me more user ability with Griffin to bring him down in the box and really, you know, make a lot of plays with him. Um, and then the only thing else that I, I think we, you know, we, we need to do is we need to crash our defensive line to the right side of the screen and blitz straight downhill. So this is the basic front of what we're doing. And we should see some pressure. Uh, generated or just a nice little base rush here and uh, as you see there now we're gonna have to definitely adjust our depth chart for the blitzes in this and I'm gonna go ahead and sub them in right now we'll show you how to do the depth charts uh, you know at the end of the week and the depth charts really gonna be important for how we uh, use this defense um, now let me set this up here real quick for us forgot we had all these different guys here on the I forgot all the linebackers on the um, or, uh, excuse me, I forgot all the linebackers on the uh, Titans are linebackers and not ends, defensive ends, so we have to sub those guys in. But anyway, Titans are a really good team, uh, in my opinion. But anyway, Crash 3, and let's see if we can get in the spread here. Spread. Oh, we definitely don't want to use a stack, because the stack has some really weird blocking and wouldn't be consistent. But anyway... Crash three. What we want to do is we want to base a line, spread line, crash line to the right, pinch linebackers, globally blitz left of screen outside linebacker. You can do all this from your global commands. And then straight blitz down this nose guard. Take Woodyard, place him on a flat zone. Make sure he's to the left of the screen so he goes to the left side flat. What I like to do is just take Good and throw him into a deep zone. And then I'll use our Griffin, and my kind of main responsibility is anything on the left side in the middle and in the seams. So there's the basic setup and we'll look at this again and uh, here you see just some basic rushes uh, at the quarterback. So so that's what we're looking at um, from this play. Um, now one thing you don't really, and you may not even have to crash your line, I mean we, with the crash three the way the blitz angles are you may just need to re-blitz Casey and uh, that may save you a step. Um, I don't know if you guys are, you know, I mean Obviously, we want to make these as small setups as possible, but most of these are not too strenuous setups. I mean, when you talk about the fact that they're all global commands, but you see you get a nice coverage, and you're able to kind of user that middle, and it really is a nice little uh, nice little play, in my opinion, um, for you. So. so anyway, so that's what we wanted to really show you. We're not looking at blitzes just yet. This play can generate some pressure, but not heavy pressure. Um, you know, it does a decent job. There you see we get some pressure. Uh, normally you'll get some of that, some like shoot, um, you know, shoot pressure out of the gaps. But, um, you know, obviously we're not looking at anything crazy. Um, the cool part is when you baseline and press, normally this linebacker will go to the left side of the screen. And that will normally help you with your pressure setups. 
and there you see you get a nice base rush, and uh, you can go in and sack the quarterback. So that's the base play, and the cool part about this is this is actually going to be really good against the run. Uh, let me show you. Um, let me show you this package against the run because that's the base. That's part of the reason we use this base play because it should be getting its run in the pass. So we'll just show basic halfback ace or single back ace, and we'll go crash three, base line, spread line, pre um, pinch linebackers, globally blitz here, blitz Casey straight down, Woodyard comes over to the left of Tad, and then we take Good and put him in a deep third, and then for video sakes, I'm going to put Griffin in the spy just because I'm going to play offense, but you know normally he'd be in a yellow, but I'd be using him down. And uh, let's take a look at this. So just a quick run off the edge, and there you see that linebacker shoot that gap right through. And that's something that is I've noticed this year um, for some reason, uh, you know, because uh, I've noticed that I think Zan did a video on, on this, but um, but I think that he said that when you take these hook zones, if they, they play the way they play the run and the way the deep blue, deep blue zones play the run are, are different. Um, and so that's kind of important to, to kind of pick up on. And then here we'll run to the left. It's a little stronger to the left, but you see the nice block shed. And then we also had the linebacker coming down uh, to make a play on it. So this play is really good against, against a lot of things your opponent's going to do. Uh, it's my base play. It's what I come out in every play. And, um, and uh, uh, you know, it was it, – it's just something I really like to use. And I think it's really good. So, um, But anyway um, – all that to say, guys, um, this is just a little bit uh, of the defense, and, and this is just a little bit of stuff uh, we talk about. We talk about defense in this year's game. Um, if you guys want a really detailed defense, a really good defense, a defense that can really set you up for success, uh, when we cover, you know, we cover blitzes, we cover, uh, you know, zone schemes, we cover man-to-man -man pressures, we cover uh, run defenses, we cover all these things. We cover that in our defensive guide, um, and it's on sale right now. You can purchase that. The link will be in the description. And uh, in my opinion, it's it's one of the better guides out uh, when you talk about functionality the defense really uh, works well together and so uh, when you want a real defense uh, I would I would look no further than the guide I got out I um, think it's really really good uh, put a lot of work into it so I hope you guys are enjoying it and um, that's what we got for you for the guides um, if you want something more personal uh, I have lab session options um, that you guys can purchase in that and that's in the description as well there's a little more expensive um, but it's a one-on-one -on -one type thing uh, where we set up a Skype call and, uh, and you know, and kind of, kind of work through the game like that. So, but that's all I've got for you today. Um, that's the Tennessee Titans' defensive base play and our offensive base.